Hey everybody, welcome back. My name's Andy, and today we're going to start playing Mischief Makers. Let me just my volume here. Mischief Makers for the N64. I love this game. Uh, came out in 1997, which was quite a while ago now. And it was made by uh, Treasure and Enix. And if you don't know who they are, um, quite a while ago I played through my favorite Genesis game, which was Gunstar Heroes. Love it. You can go watch me play that if you want. Great game, though. That was made by Treasure, and I just really like their style. Uh, so they were also, uh, you know, one of the main components of this game. Uh, so it's got a lot of the same uh, things that Gunstar Heroes had. Really great music, very colorful, cool bosses, and just kind of a unique thing. And then Enix, you might know, is part of Square Enix now, uh, but it, you, they used to be their own company. So it's Treasure and Enix. And we've got two save files here. Let's start one. I'm going to put my name in. All right, that is okay. I am male. I don't, I don't know why you have to tell it if you're male or female. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. And I am 28, but I'm gonna be 29 in a couple of days, so I'm gonna say 29. Um, so yes, this was a N64 game that I really, really enjoy. But I think that not many people played it. Like it, it wasn't super well known. I don't think I just, I just tried it on a whim and ended up loving it. So. Maybe you haven't seen it before, but you should stick around because it's pretty cool. That's okay. Let's go. All right, this is a professor. I don't remember what his name is. Man, I'm bored. I came to visit the planet of Clancer, and I can't go out. Also, you use L and R to advance dialogue. And this is one of the very few N64 games that use the control pad on the left side of the controller instead of the stick. I don't know why they put it on there at all, because no games used it, but this one did. Maria told me to stay in the spaceship till she comes back from scouting. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Huh? Visitors? Oh! What the heck? It's these guys. They're pretty weird looking. They have big ghostly faces on their torso slash head. They also seem to be wearing, like, the bottom of their torso looks kind of like the bottom of a shirt or something. So are they wearing, like, a full body suit? Or is that just what their body looks like? I don't know, they're weird looking. And they, uh are breaking everything and doing something to the professor. And it looks like they've kidnapped him. He's gone. And they broke our machine. Get out of here, you. So, that's not good. And that's the opening. Alright, we're on planet Clancer. And uh, this is laid out in several levels. This isn't the whole game. This is like world one of four or five worlds or something. Uh, so level one, one. Meet Marina. Ha ha ha! Feel the power of the great empire. You're coming with me. I've been captured by the evil empire. What are you going to do to me? We were ordered to take you to our emperor. That's all we were told! What I do know is that you'll have a horrible time with us. Get ready to cry and scream! No! Marina, help me! Alright. And here's Marina. Shoot! I've lost their trail. Who were they anyway? Hey, are you Marina, the ultra intergalactic Cybot G? And you are the people who kidnapped my professor. I can tell by your faces. Oh no, don't associate us with those guys. We're also suffering because of them. Go to my village to meet g -old. If you want to talk to someone, use L or R when next to them. Weird. Okay, so we are Marina. Here's what we can do. We can jump. We can duck. I think if I keep tapping down, yeah, you can roll. That's cool. We can jump, uh, and you don't really have any attacks as Marina. You can grab things. I can grab this guy. And then you can throw things. Yeah. Ow. That probably hurt. 
Uh, so yeah, grabbing and throwing, pretty much. She doesn't really have, you know, she's like part robot, but she doesn't have guns or anything. Also, we have, like, jets, so if you double tap a direction, you can kind of boost that way. Go really fast or whatever. This is Nepton. From what I was told, you must be Marina. Geold is looking for you. Well, alright, we'll go this way. The music in this game is really good. It's got kind of a three or four layer, uh, you know, visual style going on here. Because we got like foreground, and then the plane we're on, and then background, and then far background, and then sky. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what this statue is for. Oh yeah, when you're holding something, if you dash down, you shake it. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Sometimes you can shake some things out. See ya. Oh wait, no. I'm actually going to take that. I, I was like, I don't remember what this statue is for, but I just remembered. Uh, so I'm going to keep that with us. Hey guys, see you later. Here's some red blocks, which we'll be back to. Alright, I'm going to put this right here for now. Hi, my name's Taryn, and this is my sister Celeste. Please be nice to her. Okay. Celeste? Hi, I'm Celeste. And that's all. Okay, hello, old man. Oh, finally. I've been waiting for you. I'm Nepton's all-wise, all-knowing Geold. This is the planet Clancer, where we Clancers live. All of our race is kind and friendly. And because of these traits, the Empire has persuaded many Clancers to become evil. They use their powerful troops to invade other planets. They're trying to rule the universe. I'm not sure why they kidnapped your professor. I'm guessing that they'll take him to the Emperor. You must rescue him before that happens. To get from place to place, you must use the warp gates. There are many such gates on Clancer. However, these gates were all sealed a long time ago. It's time to open them! Use this clan bomb at the Clance Shrine to unseal the warp gates. Let's see a, a naming uh, rhythm here. Also, this is this guy's house. It's made out of what I assume are clan blocks, and they all seem to have a face. It may be sentient. It's a little creepy. But we're going to take this bomb, who also has a face. And we're supposed to blow up the Clance Shrine, but instead I'm going to blow up this statue. Yes, there we go. And I'll tell you what that was in just a second. Now let's blow up the shrine. Uh, red blocks can be blown up. There they go. And then these stars are warp gates, so we'll grab a red star. It takes us elsewhere. And then a blue and green star takes you. It's the end of the level. Hit that. Level's over. Then you get a score, which in this one is probably just on time. So yeah, I took a little longer than I could have. Uh, so you can try and get like S rank in every level if you want. We're going to continue. Okay, now that yellow diamond, let me explain that really quick. Um, you can get those little gems in all the levels, and there's a couple different kinds. There's green and blue, I think, that heal you. Red, you like save up to use for continues, I think. Or those colors might be mixed up, but you use them for those things. And then there's yellow gems. There's only one yellow gem in every single level, and you have to do different things to get them. And uh, so it's kind of an extra objective if you want to try and find all the yellow gems. Sometimes you have to do like a side quest or a special thing, or maybe like don't take any damage, or you know, who knows. I don't know how to get most of them, but we might grab some along the way. One, two, meet Kalina. Man, that was a long, long way to go. I wonder what this place is called. Hehehe, <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Marina. What? Who are you? Why are you copying me? Hehe, <laughs> not only do I have your look, but I also have all your special techniques down. Now if I go around doing bad things to folks using your name, what's going to happen? You must be a drone of the evil empire to come up with a plot like that, but I'll stop you. Ooh, I'm scared. You're so scary, Marina. Catch me if you can. <laughs> there goes Kalina. So she's going to make everybody dislike us because they think that uh, she's us. Not you again. Have you come to shake me using down to see what items fall out? I wasn't, but now I'm going to. Hey, it's gems. Uh. All right. <laughs> it's fine. Stop jumping over my house! Stop using up to boost over it, too! And some other stuff. I didn't even have to boost. Your house is not that tall. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to remember... Yeah, there we go. You can, like, down dash and then jump. 
to go really high. Welcome, Marina. I heard you've got an attitude problem, using bombs to cause trouble. If you want a big explosion, I've got a great bomb for you. Okay. You didn't give it to me. Slider jump. We can also slide by holding down an A. There's the yellow jump, so I think we'll do a little slide and jump. Boom. Got it. All right, that one was easy. Uh, let's see, we're gonna... So these blue ones will heal you. We don't want to step in that fire. Oh, God. You're not... Yeah, you are in the way. Get out of here. Ooh, boost over. All right, this little thing has sparkles coming out of the top, so I think we can pull stuff out of it. There we go. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> Look at this. This is a tree, I'm pretty sure. The colors suggest that, but it's just made out of clan blocks. It's really disturbing. What? Did you just come through the red warp gate? Mm, yes, you must have pressed B at the gate to go to the next area. Thank you. Okay. Weirdos. Is there anything else over here? Ugh. Oh yeah, there's a green one up there. Green is big health. Let's go to the next area. Uh, for my health bar, you've got the whole bar. You might have noticed it like filled up and kept going. Those That red and blue shiny thing are like extra bars, so I actually have almost two and a half bars of health. Not just uh, half of one. Look at this guy do his dance or something. Alright, what is this? A hospital? I'm the director of this hospital. I heard a lot of things from Jeel. He's one of my patients. I heard about Kalina. I hear she's your clone. You must be careful. Okay, I will. I will be careful. Nope, there's the end of the level, so let's just make sure we didn't miss anything important. I think everybody here, like, teaches you lessons. Oh, God. Is this a hospital patient? Or is he in jail? Alright, everybody's not doing so well, so let's just get out of here. Some of these levels are pretty short. But there's some really good ones, too. Very good, thank you. 1-3, Clan Ball Land. This is a good one. Because it's at an amusement park. Boys and girls, this is the greatest place on the planet. Welcome to Clan Ball Land. Wow, Dad, this is the Clan Ball Land. That's right, son. The theme park full of thrills and action. Follow me, son. Sure, Dad. Yeah! Alright, they're gonna have fun. We're gonna go check out Clan Ball Land. This place is great. We can shake, or hold this pink guy. I'm Miss Hint. If you give me ten red ones, I'll teach you something good. If you want my hint, shake me. Nope, I'm good. Alright, so, what we're learning here is you can shake lots of stuff and different things happen. So we grab this ball, shake it. Nice little star up here, okay? You can also throw, I want to say you can throw these balls. There we go, to kind of... Because they won't move. Kind of... To uh, push yourself off. Get all these gems, not that I need them. Let's see where these stars go. Ah, here's some more rides. We're at a theme park, after all. Woo! Using different... Here's a Ferris wheel. Using different shakes, we can do different things. got a bunch of red ones. So yeah, you can use those for hints, and I'm pretty sure if you die, you can spend red ones to, uh, you know, get an extra life or something. Alright, let's look at some of the rides. Let's take this red star up here. A different area of the park, where other clancers are jumping on all these things. I think if we shake them, we can knock them off. Uh, get off. Oh, he's crying. I made a kid cry. Well, let's just say Kalina did that. They don't know the difference. Alright, I believe this is where we need to go, but we need to catch... Oh, this roller coaster. Hey, come back here. Oh, we need this fast one. There we go. Clan coaster. That sounds wrong. Oh, uh, I missed. Okay, I'm gonna get up there. There 
go. Pop that. And I think the star appeared somewhere. Oh, this one. Another one. So what did that do? Oh, here. The star. Ah, I missed it. And I saw the yellow gem. How the heck do I get up there? I have no idea how to get this. I cannot boost. Like, you, you can boost up to kind of hold yourself where you are. There's no way I can get that much height. Well, there you go. There's the yellow one. I have no idea how to get there. Uh, nope, definitely not. I'm sure there's some trick to it, but I don't know what it is, and we're, I don't know what we're just going to go. That was fun. One four. Spike land. Doesn't sound as fun. Welcome to the one and only Spike Land theme park. There will be odd events held everywhere you look. Have a great time. Dad, I don't want to be here. I want to go back to Clanball Land. I'm with you, son. This place is too weird for me. Let's get out of here. Let's hurry. Let's hurry, Dad! I've got a weird feeling about this place! Spikes! There's spikes everywhere! I can't take it any longer! Run for it! This is a... Here, kid, I'll help you get over. So this is like Clan Ball Land, except worse. Uh, instead of fun rides, there's spiked... dangerous things everywhere. And, uh... Ow! Hey, I got the yellow one. Very dangerous place. Not fun. Oh, you need help? Huh. Fine. Don't accept my help. Get out of here, Miss Hint. Uh. Roll under. Super short. It's funny though. Nice. One, five, three Clancer kids. And I was thinking about maybe, maybe trying to do a world per video, but I think that might be too long, so maybe we'll break it up a little bit. Hey, it's dinner time. Where are my children anyway? Oh, pretty lady, sorry to bother you, but would you find my three children? Please find them and bring them back home. Why, thank you. No, don't worry. I leave everything to me. All right, so in this level, uh, to win, you have to find your three kids and bring them home. And that's that's a weird clan butterfly. Clan butterfly. There's a kid. They're kind of obnoxious, so it's a little hard to get them home. Took that thing. I don't know what that did. Gotcha. You fell right from my trap. Usually he like jumps over you, but I guess he forgot. Throw him in. Uh, all right, he's stuck. Because if you let him go, or if you drop him, then they they run away. Oop. Shake, shake. Ah, come here, jerk. Ah. Uh, gotcha. There's two. All right, last one. Oh yeah, this guy, he's really fast. You have to like, ugh, nice, got him really quick. Usually you have to like chase after him for a long time and and try to uh, just out, out boost him, but caught him right at a jump, excellent. Ah, oh, I knew that would happen. Thanks for your help. This is your reward. It's not much, but I hope you accept it. Some reds. By the way, my husband isn't back yet. I wonder where he is. Yahoo! Yahoo! I don't know. Alright, before we take this exit, I want to check one thing. 
Oh. Ow. There's something up there. If I can just get it. Oh, close. There we go. What's in here? Oh, it's a bomb. Oh, there's her husband. Okay. So here's the deal. I gotta take this bomb out. I gotta get run back through that maze and get up there before it explodes. Or something. Let's go. We made it. Yes. Hey. Hey, you. Come here. Your wife's looking for you. I don't know how you got stuck back there in the first place. Where were you? Shut up! I want to be alone. Leave me alone. This is my life. Okay, not friendly. Um, I should have shook him. I wonder if he had the yellow gem. Or did we get that already? I don't remember. Anyway. I bet he did. I bet you're supposed to shake him and get it. Whatever. Get out of here. Should shake everything just in case. Alright, so that was the first five levels of Mischief Makers. Um, I don't want these videos to go on super long where you don't want to watch them, so we're going to take a break here, come back next time and we'll play probably the next five levels and uh, see what lies beyond this world. There are a lot of really cool boss fights and weird levels in this game uh, just later, so you know, stick it out. I'm going to go ahead and keep playing this for a while, so hopefully I'll see you next time.